two feds, bro. Hey, him. Two feds, bro. Why you pointing the gun on me? Why you pointing the gun on me? Hey folks, so people filming police officers who are making arrests has reached a new zenith of controversy with the recent law passed in Arizona. But as this video will show, you don't need a law to have them ready to shoot people over this. Yo, what the f bro? Two feds, bro. Hey, him. Two feds, bro. Why you pointing the gun on me? Why you pointing the gun on me? Because you have a weapon. What weapon? What weapon, huh? Bro, you look dumb, bro. Get on the Look, ground! Bro, what the Get on the ground! So, the situation is clearly pretty crazy, but what even is going on here? Well, it takes place in Fairfax, Virginia, where police say they were called to an IHOP after a group of teens had allegedly brandished what appeared to be a gun in front of the hostess of the restaurant. The teens fled to a nearby parking lot when police arrived, where officers managed to detain two of them and did not find weapons on either. Interesting. But, during this investigation, a teenage passerby saw and decided to film the interaction, which is where the video starts. In a statement that, of course, denies any kind of responsibility, the department said the officers thought the recorder was one of the teens who managed to escape during the chase minutes earlier. Due to the nature of the call, and not locating a weapon, officers ordered the subject to the ground at gunpoint, police said. Officers determined the juvenile was holding a cell phone and filming. The three juveniles were detained and later released to their parents. It's perhaps worth mentioning that if the situation had gone differently, a teenager could have been shot by police during an incident where nobody ended up getting charged for a crime, showing the danger of police interactions where a split second can make a difference between being dropped off at your parents' house or straight up shot. Now, Fairfax County did say they were investigating the incident, or at least that's what their Board of Supervisors chairman said in a Twitter reply. So fingers crossed these officers were actually faced consequences. That's all for this week. In other news, the First Lady of the United States, Jill Biden, just compared Latinos to breakfast tacos? As distinct as the Bogodas of the Bronx, as beautiful as the blossoms of Miami, and as unique as the breakfast tacos here in San Antonio. <laughs>